treble clef that curls around that uh, second line and all the notes that are on that line are G's. So that's why it's called G clef and it kind of looks like a fancy G also. So on the line, this is a staff. There it has five lines and four spaces. Each note has a word to rem so you can remember the notes. E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for does, and F for fine. That becomes one word. Every good boy does fine. So to me, right hand has to do with people. And for me to remember it, I think of it like a person standing on two feet, standing tall up in the air. So that is a boy, right? And in the spaces, then you have uh, F, A, C, E on the spaces. So it's four spaces and four letters. And that becomes one word, face. And again, remember that it looks like a fancy G and it's like a person standing tall. Uh, so it has to do with people. Every good boy does fine and a boy has a face. Now on the left hand, then it is um, a bass clef, which has two dots there. And this kind of, this dot that looks like a note goes uh, through the two dots and all the notes that are on that line are Fs. So F is the nickname for it. And if you, if you look at it too, it looks like a fancy F kind of, you see it? So uh, left hand has to do with animals so that you can distinct the difference between right and left. So G for great, B for big, D for dogs, F for fight, and A for animals. So it's five words that match each of the notes on the five lines. And the last one on the spaces is uh, A for all, C for cows, E for eat, and G for grass. And that becomes a word again, all cows eat grass. And remember, it's four spaces and it has to be four words. So it matches those spaces. So if you think about it, the left hand has to do with animals. All cows eat grass, great big dogs fight animals. And uh, the right hand has to do with people. Every good boy does find and face.